This has gone to the most powerful wings of government, arguably, in Washington, D.C., now deliberately fabricating or misleading investigations for reasons of political expediency. It is terrifying. Has this all confirmed the idea of the deep state? Have you been following yeah, impeachment? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with this. This week, uh, yeah. the Justice Department, the Inspe Justice Department inspector, the Justice Department Inspector General, sorry, <laughs> Michael go. Horowitz. So many vowels. There's lots Ugh. of titles. What's going on? Released a report looking at the FBI's investigation of President Trump's campaign. Okay, He was questioned about the report in a Senate hearing yesterday. Let's see that real quick. The Inspector General found that when the FBI secretly opened an investigation into possible Russian influence of the Trump campaign in July 2016, it followed the like rules about launching music. that kind of yeah. case. The report says the FBI's court application made statements about Steele that were, quote, inaccurate, incomplete, and unsupported, overselling his value as a source and glossing over the fact that many claims he made were not checking out. Yeah. Oh. I claim some mistakes. Huh. That's a funny yeah. word. Uh, if you listen to <laughs> some of the leftist shows, and I, I've been listening to, uh, obviously, the Young Turks, Pod Save America, or Reading Up at Vox and so on, <laughs> they're going to try and spin this as some minor procedural errors made by low-level FBI employees. That's yeah. kind of the story that's been going out there, and I encourage you to go and read and watch further left sources because that is kind of the narrative yeah. that they've mm -hmm. said. It just sound familiar to anybody when uh, t conservatives were targeted by the IRS? Oh, it's low-level people. It was a mistake. Right. We, we didn't do this. Which, by the way, also lends itself to the fact that civil libertarians and a lot of Republicans always had a problem with the abuses of FISA, right? We've, if, yeah. you could, if you could search out, if we could search which words we've used in this uh, program, we've talked about Barack Obama and FISA several times. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I do think it's important to be consistent here. Let's yeah. go through the series of mistakes the FBI made. Uh, even if maybe the Inspector General can't detect any pattern that might point to a motive, maybe we can. So we would like to introduce this <laughs> yeah, new segment perhaps. called, Could It All Be An Accident? Boy, that was out of tenor. Oh, wow. yeah, that was really <laughs> serious. Oh, man, I thought that this was going to be a game expectations. show. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Who wants to be a I will yeah. take conspiracy theories for 500 <laughs> <laughs> and ensuring that I am removed from the platform. Okay, oh, let's start God. with this. this there's a cl couple of claims. Let's go through the claims. One of the claims is that Comey and others were exonerated. Democrats, left wing media, they were quick to say that the IG report exonerated James Comey, right? We have an overlay yeah. here. Uh, the truth is that the inspector general said the report did nothing even close to that. Former FBI Director James Comey said this week that, that your report vindicates him. Is that a fair assessment of your report? Um, I, you know, I think the activities we found here don't vindicate anybody who touched this. Okay. No, no, not at all. No. Yeah. That's entirely incorrect. Well, they have a problem with reports here. What's going on? Like the bar thing with no collusion? No, it didn't say that, and this didn't say something, and they're saying it says something. Bar, I don't know what to believe. Bar is an example of collusion at the corruption at the highest level, as opposed to uh, dozens of high-level employees at the FBI who systematically worked to uh, undermine our presidency. Just be, just be sure that you I'm understand. To, yeah, this. I just want to have it straight. I want to make sure. Thank you. Let's Very move fun. on to <laughs> another claim, which I think is you guys may remember this, but there were a lot of claims made, and. It it, it, it's kind of silly mm -hmm. that we have to go back to this, but this is actually very important because of, I don't know if this is effectively falsified. We'll get some information that, to me, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. We have a lawyer seems falsified, but the context of this seems at the very least deliberately misleading some claims that people made regarding the infamous Russian mm. peeing tape. Oh boy. When you told him the contents of the Steele dossier, did you get the impression it was the first time he'd ever heard those allegations? Yes, and I didn't give him the briefing on the whole Steele dossier. My assignment was to brief him on a small part of it that was salacious and personal, and my sense was I didn't get a sense that he knew about those. Why include that salacious part? If it was something that you thought was, uh, you know, not that necessary to the investigation, or did you think it was important that he knew? We thought it was important that he knew, and I say we, meaning all the intelligence chiefs that put together the intelligence community mm -hmm. assessment. We thought it was important that he know because we knew, and we don't want to be holding that back from the new president. Did you believe his denial? I honestly never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but I don't know whether the, the current president of the United States was with prostitutes peeing on each other in Moscow in 2013. It's possible, but I don't know. And by the way, after that interview, uh, Chuck Todd's goatee wow. cocooned into a butterfly and flew away. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful oh, nature. Oh, my jawline. So, <laughs> um, here's the thing. 
he, he, in case, just to summarize here, Comey was saying that it was his duty to brief the president about the P tape and then claims that it very, he thought it very well may have been true. Let me explain this very clearly. The FBI not only knew that the story had zero corroboration, they knew that it was in fact a joke. The FBI interviewed Steele's source and asked him to corroborate the story, but the source, and I have a quote here, explained that his or her information came from word of mouth and hearsay, another quote, conversation that he or she had with friends over beers and that some of the information, such as allegations about Trump's sexual activities, were statements he or she heard made in jest. Oh my gosh. Think of that for a second. All you needed to do was make a joke. And if it, refre- if it reflected badly enough on President Trump, the FBI would purposefully misrepresent it as though it was a credible allegation all the way up to the director of the entire FBI who would then brief the president himself <laughs> oh, on it. The more information that comes out, the worse it is for Democrats. That is yeah. a consistent through line here. Because I will say time. this, we've often said, like, there's probably a kernel of truth to it. I thought maybe there were Russian prostitutes peeing in a in a Trump hotel, and he knew about it and said, uh, you know, they like the water sports. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out n- there isn't a kernel of truth at all. It was oh entirely God. made up from a joke. The truth is worse than the very little leeway we were willing to give. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> wow. I'd oh say scraping God. the bottom of the barrel, but it's a bottomless barrel. You're just like, you're, you're way down into the dirt and you're looking up going, is that the f- barrel I was <laughs> scraping through? <laughs> Another claim that they make, uh, the Steele dossier wasn't central to the FISA warrant. Uh, oh, no, wait, sorry. Before that, I need to tell people to hit the notification oh, yeah. bell, right? You hit the do. notification bell uh, because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot, but do subscribe to the channel. We have a new video. You've been letting me say this wrong this whole time. It's 9 sorry. Eastern. It's not nice. Eastern. Who cares about their time? time? What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Either way, uh, <laughs> join up at Mug Club, ladderwithcrowder.com slash Mug Club. That's where you get all of the extra content. Some shows even hosted by my half Asian lawyer, Bill Ooh, Richmond. Yeah, of course, the whole yeah. Blaze catalog. Boom. And next week, Wednesday, big live Christmas show. It'll be a live stream with a discount. We'll be raising money for Christmas baskets. Okay, let's move awesome. on here. Another claim. This is important because you're going to hear this from the Young Turks. You're going to hear this from all of these left sources, MSNBC, that the Steele dossier wasn't central to the FISA warrant. Right. Okay. In case you've forgotten, maybe you recall that Devin Nunes, the memo, claimed that Steele dossier was an essential part of the evidence used to begin the FBI spying on Trump's campaign. The Democrats claimed that this was absolutely not true. The deputy director of the FBI, McCabe, testified before your committee in December of 2017 that no surveillance warrant, no FISA court, uh, to the FISA court, would have been sought without the Steele dossier information. Is that true? Uh, that's a characterization that's not what uh, Director McCabe or <laughs> Deputy okay. Director McCabe actually said. Uh, well, I can't go into the details of what he said. Essentially, his argument was, uh, we look at this as a complete whole. All the parts of the application are important. Okay, so, of huh. course, the entire leftist media, they piled on as well, claiming yeah. that Steele dossier was only a small part of the evidence. Def- definitely not essential, non-essential. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. Here's the truth. Not only did the IG report find that the dossier played a central, I want to read this as a quote, central, and people are going, you can't get off, you can't get off prompter. Today I am making sure that I am on this <laughs> iPad because <laughs> no. I don't want to get this wrong. Do it. Uh, se- when you're dealing with the FBI, kind of scary. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, they, they, can, they can do anything they want. They can make the mistakes, not you. Found the dossier played a central and essential role in the FISA application. Uh, when it came to Carter Page's, by the way, alleged Russia collusion, the Steele dossier was the entire basis. It, was, it right. wasn't a small basis. Mm. It wasn't a portion. It was the only basis. Oh Here's another claim that the Obama administration didn't use the dossier at all. This, this came out this week, that they didn't use the dossier at all in their intelligence assessment. Here you go. Listen to that. Do you know if the Bureau ever relied on the Steele dossier as, any, as part of any court filings? I like Gowdy, but he's very pointy. Petitions, yeah. pleadings. <laughs> I have no awareness. At all? <laughs> Complete, utterly unaware. Yeah. Did the CIA rely on it? No. Why not? No. Because we, we did, we, it wasn't part of the corpus of intelligence uh, information that we had. It was not in any way used as a basis for the intelligence community assessment that was done. Uh, it, was, it was not. And by the way, that, mm. they didn't trot out Gerald Ford's corpse. That's CIA <laughs> yeah. director. John oh. Brennan, in case you didn't know, yeah. and he was saying that they didn't even know about the Steele dossier, right? The Obama administration, th- th- this is important to note, they all knew about the Steele dossier. Hmm. It was actually included as an appendix in the assessment <laughs> itself. Not only did they give the Steele dossier credit, it practically wrote the foreword. 
<laughs> even further than that, by the way, uh. Comey and McCabe fought to have it play an even more central role in the assessment, hmm. proactively. So I want to be clear. I mean, I don't know at what point lying yeah. Yeah. constitutes yeah. A, a crime. <laughs> yeah. But this, I want you to research the sources for yourself. Okay, we have to, we have yep. to cycle through this because we have Tim Pool coming up pretty quick to talk about Do the it. new yep, YouTube yep. policies. Here's another claim they make that the FISA warrant was obtained completely honestly on the up and up. I have total confidence that the FISA process was followed and that the entire case was handled in a thoughtful, responsible way by DOJ and the FBI. I think the notion that FISA was abused here is nonsense. Okay, so this is pretty important, and, and let me know if it's a little confusing, and maybe, Bill, you can help clarify, because yeah. it's confusing for me sometimes, and I work in this yeah, industry. Right. The FBI created fraudulent evidence to obtain the warrant. I know Bill's going to say, well, hold on, because I'm making a claim here. I believe that I can make that claim and substantiate it. Just pause, or if you don't have the time, fast forward four seconds. Carter Page okay, was actually acting as an informant for the CIA during these uh, Russia meetings. Okay, The FBI knew that. Right. So to be clear, the FBI omitted that information from the FISA applications and even used Carter's connection to those Russian contacts as evidence against him. Think of that for a second. They knew, so it's like, okay, go out there, you're gonna have contacts, you're gonna be an informant yeah. working with the Russians, mm -hmm. and then afterwards we're gonna hang you out to the dry and say, look, yeah. look, there's an informant with the Russians. Yeah, so yeah. here's why I w there. am saying this definitively, that they create, that they falsified information here. The FBI emailed the CIA to check if Page was working with them, okay? They confirmed that Page was a source, that it that Page was a source, mm -hmm. but an FBI lawyer, and then I want to go to my lawyer, he's a lawyer, an FBI lawyer actually altered the text of the email to say he was not a source. To be clear, okay, it said was a source initially. Huh. FBI mm -hmm. lawyer changed the text to mm -hmm. read not a source. Uh, not a source. By the way, <laughs> lawyer now under criminal investigation. Oh. How oh, they, far they does go. that go, half Asian lawyer? But can I make the claim that that is falsifying evidence, changing the word yes to no? I mean, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Good. Wow, that that was so <laughs> well, quick. And, 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 I don't run a run point, afoul of YouTube's but, but, policies. But here again, here again is the thing: is how are they going to try and spin this and say, yeah. you know, oh, it was just a mistake. Oh, you know, it's just a low, low level lawyer for the FBI. <laughs> right. you know, I it's accidentally just an intern. hit the delete button for S A W, and then for some, I accidentally typed in N O T. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. I spilled coffee in the keyboard. I don't know wow. what happened. It's yeah, a common crazy. issue. That's the last time I use yeah. a Dell. <laughs> <laughs> gateway. I mean, only Gateway. Yeah. Oh, is it, is yeah. Gateway still around? No, nope. no, that's why no. it's funny. No, seriously, he's under criminal investigation, and I understand the optics. There's the court of public opinion, but. This is a lie. This is a lie. This seems like this, it would be something that could be prosecuted. These are the types of things where you know we call it the fruit of the poisonous tree as a legal term, right? If you in, in the common parlance of like the Fourth Amendment and other constitutional issues, you have to establish that if early in the chain of creating evidence or taking certain action by the government, the government takes wrong action, right. then the rest of the information that comes from that, the fruit of the poisonous tree, is now poisoned as well, right? It's right, tainted. Yeah. And here, when you when you look at Comey, Comey understood the problem with that. That's why back in December of 2018, he's saying. No, 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 don't worry. The tree is not poisoned. Everything's great. We fertilized it with yeah. great stuff, except they fertilized it with bullshit. Right. And that's the problem. <laughs> and mean, then Eve tried to eat from it. It again. was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> over and over and over. Eve. <laughs> Still angry about that, huh? And then she wrote her autobiography on Adele. Okay. Since you can't, this is also something else because we have to get going. People say, you know, if you can't say something better than the guy who said it before you, plagiarize him. The good thing is, as a host of a late night show, it's not considered plagiarizing no. when I just run a clip. So let's just hear Senator Ted Cruz sum this up perfectly. A lawyer at the FBI creates fraudulent evidence, alters an email that is in turn used as the basis for a sworn statement to the court that the court relies on. Am I stating that accurately? Uh, that's correct. That is what occurred. Hmm. hmm. That seems pretty <laughs> damning. Here. This is unprecedented, though. This is unprecedented to have these people in these positions of power over, as you've said, other good Americans who want to serve their country in these bureaus, yeah. in these wings of, of our uh, of our federal government to yes. obviously one extent or another, depending on which division we're talking about right mm -hmm. now. This is unprecedented for people wielding that kind of power to be complicit with the media who don't care to do any fact checking. Right. It's hard for us to fact check their claims because they never list them. Right. That's why we try to list <laughs> no them for No sources anywhere. If I'm not mistaken, I think we have one more clip, right? Yep. Okay, let's go to one last clip and then go. There is such a range of conduct here that is inexplicable and the answers we got were not satisfactory that we're left trying to understand how could all these errors have occurred over a 
nine-month period or so among three teams handpicked, high, one of the highest profile, if not the highest profile case in the FBI, going to the very top of the organization involving a presidential campaign? That is a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why it begs, could this all be an accident? How could these inexplicable errors, or at least they haven't been explained yet, all occur going up to the very top of the organization? Was it just a sloppy investigation? Or do all of these errors it could just be a sloppy investigation, except when you account for the fact here that all of the errors tilt in a certain direction, mm. one that's anti-President Trump. Can you, let me ask you this, can you find anything to the contrary in the last six months? Do you remember, remember like you were, to go back to what you were saying, remember the outrage over Barr's review of yeah. the Mueller report? People demanded that he be ousted for his conclusion obtained from the totality of information available. They saw that as corruption at the highest level possible, but what about all of these missteps or sometimes deliberate inaccuracies in the most powerful bureaus of government. Nothing? And again, I think what's most important here is every time we get more information, it gets worse for the Democrats right now in this whole Im these impeachment proceedings. Yeah. That's why I think they're handing Donald Trump the election. I wish this weren't going on because I think it makes a mockery of our, of, yeah. of our entire, not only judicial system, but the entire system of American government. Schoolhouse Rock should be rolling over in its grave right now. <laughs> this is absolutely oh. <laughs> unreal to me. But like you talked about with the IRS uh, investigating people, the IRS being yeah. used as a tool from Barack Obama to yeah. audit conservatives. Yeah. Here's one thing too that I think, because you can audit a ham sandwich, right? That's the old kind of adage. People say, yeah. you can audit a ham sandwich and find something wrong. And that's kind of true. They just There was a story, someone just lost his home because he was $8 under yeah. on property taxes, right? That's scary to everybody where you go, well, there's a certain amount of power where the government can find something that you've done oh, wrong. Yeah. Here's to, why yeah. this is scary though, because if they don't find something that you've done wrong, they will make it up. Whether it's Russian pissing prostitutes or changing from did know about the steel dossier to did not know about the Steele dossier. This has gone beyond someone making a mistake and a political enemy capitalizing on it. This has gone to the most powerful wings of government, arguably, in Washington, D.C., now deliberately fabricating or misleading investigations for reasons of political expediency. It is terrifying, and it sets a terrifying precedent that we should all be concerned about. <laughs> you know what's in here? It's just water. That's why they call it acting. What? It actually smells garlicky. There's something wrong with the water. I think it's going through the ice maker. We don't have we don't have the baking soda in the fridge. If you like this video, uh, subscribe, hit notifications, or just check back every single day because we upload a new video every single day. And this was actually taken from the full show, a full hour show that we upload every single Thursday. Click that right now. Go watch the entire show. If you don't want to, you don't you don't have to. But if you if you stop by, you know, just don't bother me. I'm gonna enjoy my garlic water.